let's talk about So Be It by Sarah Weeks. It's a novel about a young girl named Heidi who doesn't know her family history. Unlike Heidi, my name is Emily Fitting and I know my family history. Heidi is a 12 year old girl who lives with her mama who has a bum brain and her neighbor Bernadette. Heidi lives in Reno, Nevada and she doesn't go to school. Bernadette is her teacher. Bernie found Heidi and her mama outside of her house um, in Reno and she, Bernie was really worried about Heidi and her mama because she didn't know what was going to happen to them. Heidi's mama is different. She's mentally challenged and she only knows 23 words. But along with those 23 words she also knows how to show her emotions and physically tell people what she's feeling instead of using words. Heidi is very unusual. She's 12, year old, 12 years old. She doesn't go to school, but she has the most luck in the entire world. She can go to slot machines and instantly win. She can play the memory game with little cardboard cards and win with only one turn. The other person never gets a turn because she, she guesses every single time. Heidi is curious about her mama. She doesn't know anything about her besides her name is Soviet, or that's what she claims. Heidi's curiosity is sparked when she finds this old camera with old film and when she develops the film she finds these pictures and they're of this place called Hilltop Home in Liberty, Liberty New York and she doesn't know who the people are in them and Bernadette and Heidi as they sit and look through them they find Heidi's mama and possibly her grandma. So they go through the pictures and Heidi's curiosity of the word Souf, which is her mom's word, is piqued even more throughout the entire story. So Heidi begins this journey all by herself from Reno, Nevada to Liberty, New York because Bernie can't leave her house because of her agoraphobia. She can't leave. She physically cannot leave her apartment so she, Heidi has to trek the entire journey by herself. She meets Georgia who is a young girl who is confident and spunky and Heidi kind of, she learns how to lie and then she gets caught in her lies on her journey so she figures that lying probably isn't good anymore. So she gets to live in New York and her luck pays off again because the money that Bernie gave her for her cab fare was stolen. So Heidi guesses how many jelly beans are in the jar and gets herself a free ride up to Hilltop Home where she meets Ruby and Elliot. Elliot is a young man who says her mom's word soof and Heidi's curiosity is piqued even more by Elliot. So she meets Ruby and she meets Mr. Thurman Hill who is so rude and so mean to Heidi right away because he thinks that Heidi is there for money. He knows exactly who Heidi is but he won't let anybody know it. So Heidi goes home with Ruby and her husband Roy who's a sheriff at the police department and they let her stay with them and they feed her and she gets to take a warm bath and sleep in a bed instead of on a bus. And she goes back to Hilltop Home to confront Mr. Thurman Hill again. So they go there and she finds out everything. Thurman Hill is actually her grandfather. Elliot, the young man that she saw in Hilltop Home, is actually her father. And Soof is her mother's name, but in Elliot and Mama version. Soof is short for Sophia. So Heidi finds out all of this, and while all of this is happening, back in Reno, her mama dies. And they bring her body back to Liberty, New York, and they have a funeral for her, and they have a ceremony, and Heidi decides that she doesn't want a priest to speak because no one really knows who her mama is. So instead, Heidi speaks about who her mama is and how she's kind and things like that. So Ruby and Roy tell Heidi that she can stay with them if they want, if, they, if she thinks that she wants to, but she doesn't. She goes back to Reno because Reno's her home and Bernadette is the only family that she has left. So Heidi's luck gets passed on, and I'm not going to tell you how it gets passed on, but instead you're going to have to read this book because I'm not going to tell you. Would I put this book in an elementary classroom? Absolutely not. There is talks of abortion and there's a lot of deep subjects that I don't think grade level children should have to 
deal with or know about until they get older. So I would definitely put it in a middle school classroom and even in a high school classroom, but definitely not an elementary school classroom. So that is a book talk about So Be It by Sarah Weeks. That's the end.